Hey, we forgot to talk about the new blue. Is it back there? The night. New, new blue is called Night Race Blue, and you see the car there. It's a 427 convertible with the blue top and blue stitching in the interior. And uh, so that replaces uh, the Carlisle Blue, which we built out. That was a one year only. And the other new color is not really a new color. Anybody know what the other new color is? Black. It's black. <laughs> it's back. Regular black is back. So again, the. Uh, Centennial edition with the carbon flash was really successful, but now we're back to uh, regular black again. So um, that's pretty much all we had. We also want to do an overview of these cars here today. Uh, we can take some questions if anybody's got any questions. Back here. Question is, what do we have to do special for the convertible to make that? convertible compatible with the 427 engine, all the chassis stuff. Um, basically what we had to do was bolt the engine in. You know, it, it's, since the Corvette is designed to be a convertible anyway, we, we started, to, the, the real answer to your question is we went to the traditional like Grand Sport body structure. So it's a steel structure, it's not an aluminum structure like the Z06, which is optimized for minimum weight with a fixed roof car. For open air, we just use the, the Grand Sport uh, Hydroform steel frame uh, underneath, and then uh, that's a little bit heavier than the aluminum, so we added all the carbon bits to try to take the weight back out of it. The trickiest part is honestly uh, doing the dry sump, uh, which goes up here in the front, and uh, displaces the battery, and that pushes the battery to the back, but that, that seems fairly straightforward. But it's not, because now you've got a big battery cable that now has to run the length of the car through all this mechanism uh, that makes up the convertible top. So that was uh, kind of a neat trick, doing all that packaging work. So that was probably actually the biggest engineering challenge, was putting the battery in the back. But uh, in terms of structural reinforcements, anything like that, nope, it's plug and play. The gearing is a, yes it is. How many people would like Millennium Yellow back? We got one. How many like the yellow we got now? It looks like it's going to be a while. Okay, but we're always listening, so thank you very much. But lobby your neighbors, you know. We talk about heritage colors, you know, portrait came back. Uh, after being gone a while, uh, and it was mainly through customer poll uh, demanding that. Um, so keep the input coming. Other questions? Yes. Basically, Z06 drive line uh, chassis. You know, it's but you got the Michelin PS2 uh, tires, and then we calibrated obviously uh, for how we wanted the convertible to ride. So there's some customization in it, but it's uh, basically Z06 ZR1 underneath. Right here. Two-part question. I know plant tours are done in September, Well, customer will customers still be able to do a museum delivery for the end of 13, and also will they be able to do an engine build for the entire 13 model year? Um, oh. <laughs> I, I was going to answer, you can do the museum delivery, and you can do the engine build. But well, we are going to close the plant to the public on September 14th, Rick. So uh, because of all the activity in the plant associated with the new product, we are going to have to close the plant to the public. But that, So that stops public tours, stops buyers' tours. Buyers can still do museum delivery, which is good. Uh, but there'll be a brief period of time that uh, we got to block, or black out the, uh, the plant. Got a question back here. The question is, is this the last chance to buy a 427, a 7-liter small block engine? I would say um, buy one, just to make sure <laughs> you've got one in the bag, just, just, just in case. 
<laughs> yeah, we were gonna, sure we we're going to do this one. Dave probably never, Dave Hill's here, uh, former chief, and he probably never envisioned putting a, a seven liter engine in the convertible, but here it is. Question here? Question is, did we ever think of doing a special white paint? Yes, we did. Uh, we played around with uh, a number of alternatives, and uh, none of them worked out. Uh, paint is a very high technology uh, project, uh, coming up with new paints. Uh, and in fact, uh, one of our plans was stymied by the tsunami in Japan, uh, believe it or not. It, it's that much of a global operation. The, the uh, cerulean flake that goes in some of our paint uh, is made only in one place. And it's in the, uh, the zone that had the nuclear meltdown uh, in Japan. And since then, additive disappeared. Uh, you saw a lot of manufacturers had to pull the paint with that additive off the market. And that basically stopped uh, any development of any special colors for us. So uh, the answer is yes, we thought about it. Uh, and we're still thinking about you know, what are the kinds of special paint uh, can they do for your folks. Question back here. Uh, is there a chance of you know, green coming back into the inventory? How many people want green? Got one. After we do Millennium Yellow, we will bring back green. Any other color choices people would like to nominate? Yes, Dream Blue wants to come back? Yes, Dream Blue? I am. One of my personal favorites. Mom Blue. That too. Okay, electronic blue? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's one, another one of my favorites. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like we got a lot of blue things. Do not get rid of Torch Red. <laughs> uh oh. Anybody want to get rid of Torch Red? How many of you want to get rid of Torch Red? <laughs> What's your problem over there? <laughs> Everybody, you see who he is? <laughs> Okay, any other questions? No, well, we'll be around. Um, I'm actually doing a seminar tomorrow from... Uh, we'll be out here tomorrow. Yeah, we'll be out here again tomorrow. Hopefully we'll have the mic uh, on time and be able to start on time. Uh, but we'll be doing seminars uh, all morning tomorrow and uh, show you a bunch of pictures. So thanks for your patience. Sorry we started late, uh, but we'll be hanging around here for a little bit if you have more questions for one on one. Thanks. Anybody wants to see the presentation tomorrow, we're on, I'm on, uh, 11 to 12, we'll be talking about general uh, development topics, things that we're uh, doing to develop, that we did do develop these cars, and then also the kinds of things we're working on uh, for the next gen car, um, that's 11 to 12. I missed the presentation, and then, uh, that's Harlan, the big news. For and Harlan and I, and uh, for 60 days will be on 12 to 1, and then at 1 o'clock we'll come out and uh, basically take any other questions you guys have. Just three continuous hours of entertainment. So if you enjoyed today, be sure to come back tomorrow. Thanks.